Hello everyone and welcome to 8 Brit Gaming, where a bunch of Brits put down the tea and crumpets to come together and talk about gaming. I'm your host Tom Powell, with me today is all about the numbers, Javid Rahman, the man with the plan, Matt Stevens, and the one and only, Adam Bennett. Hello. So we've literally just, well we haven't just seen, so it's part of the press conference, it happened last night and I was pretty happy with it overall I think. What were your versions overall thoughts? I wasn't overwhelmed. Uh, but I thought, uh, when Microsoft conference finished, I thought, bloody hell, so you're going to have to pull the cat out of the bag, and they, they pretty much did, I thought, there was nothing, and I, I know you guys sort of felt a bit flat about halfway through, um, but I thought it was pretty pretty consistent, and it, it, it hit high points at the point you expect a E3 yeah, conference to definitely, hit high points. It, it was hard hitting, game on game on game, when the, well, when the games were going, they, it was... Bam, bam, bam! Mm -hmm. Games. Um, you, you couldn't really complain about that. Um, so far, it felt great. This has felt like a really old school, traditional E3, where Very the big reveals so. come like you yeah, expect them to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we had we had a little bit of this newfangled less um, hardware. Yeah. I was a bit concerned because um, in our Microsoft chat, I made the point that. Um, I can't ever remember a, a, an E3 press conference where it's been solidly games, games, games. Mm. But I was very concerned halfway through Sony, so it was like, oh god, there's going to be another one. Yeah, <laughs> it makes my point completely at, at least, it, I mean, it wasn't much. Uh, they did go on a bit in that section about other things, but it, there wasn't much about hardware. It was just one tiny section, yeah. um, and they moved on from that to other worse stuff, but I'm sure we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> speaking of hardware, probably one of their first reveals was the white PlayStation 4 yeah. coming alongside the first big game they showcased, which is Destiny. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, that's my point. Um, <laughs> I, I agree, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I am so hyped for Destiny, obviously being developed by Bungie, very obviously famous for Halo. Mm. Um, and this looks like the next step forward for that company, in my opinion. Definitely. Uh, it's almost like taking Halo and just making it even bigger. Do you know better. what? I'm not hyped for Destiny. <laughs> but you know what? If it turns out I should have been hyped, then that's absolutely fine. Because I'll still buy the game and I'll go out and play it. I just don't see an awful lot in Destiny that makes me think it's going to be this massive gaming revolution that everyone's hyping out to be. I do think we need to see more. Yeah, we've seen, we've, we've, I've seen a couple of games. We have right? seen a fair bit. Yeah. I want to see like solid gameplay, like you know, off screen where someone's yeah, just there uh, playing yeah. it. Just see what actually happens. Not even that. I, I, just, I think it needs to be put in the hands of gamers and then to give their feedback about how it's different. Yeah. Because for it to be a gaming revolution, it needs to be different. And I want to know will, how. will we see much of it over the next couple of days? Yeah. So they got, do have a uh, at their booth. They've got a big. They're, they're yeah. the only. They're the only guys. The, they've got the thing I think with Destiny, and it's what I've been kind of feeling about Destiny, is that we 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 know a lot about Destiny. But we don't know a lot about Destiny. We like, I have no idea how the game starts, like how you start off, like how you progress. All we know so far really is that you just pick a class, pick a race, and then go do whatever you want, which is pretty cool. I you think don't know if you asked yeah, me what that, yeah. did I if you, if you asked me what did I learn about Destiny from that E three press conference, I would say it will be shipped with a white PS4. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that that yeah. would yeah. be what I learned. Uh, they're they're really playing on the hype. Like yes. they feel they don't need to show you too much. Mm. Um, which, uh, e <laughs> which EA went a bit crazy with the Mass Effect thing, but we'll leave yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into um, that, yeah. Honestly, I think the hype train works, and I, I think Bungie are, they've heard it. They've heard this. Kind yeah, of definitely. They've but done a good, well, they did a good job, of, an amazing job with Halo. Um, yeah. Going on to this, it looks fantastic. And well, we think it looks fantastic anyway. <laughs> in, in the modern gaming industry, I would suggest that there is nothing more important than a marketing campaign that works. Because if you look at the last triple blockbuster game that came out, Watch Dogs, not yeah. particularly groundbreaking eventually, but the hype train was was so ferocious mm. that it, it sold excellently. Yeah. And contrasting that, the console that I love, the Wii U, uh, Absolutely no marketing whatsoever. Yeah. I think it's a great console, but no one really gets involved yeah. because well, yeah. people think it's still an extension of the Wii. It, the point I'm making is marketing is so important, and Destiny has got it absolutely right. Yeah, I think yeah. We're, I think because we're coming up to the release of Destiny now in September, I think we're about to really see the push in marketing. But already that image of the top of Earth with the De traveller that's iconic Des now. Destiny, Destiny is it one of these games that's in such a lovely place where it. A lot of its marketing, it doesn't even have to do itself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much on Twitter and YouTube, it, everyone's very high. It's, it's very much quickly becoming iconic. 
Yeah. No. I'm, 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 well, just I mean like that image yeah. of the well, earth with the traveller over it. In terms of far be it from me to yeah. far be it from me to steal your thunder on the sales thing, Javi. But if we're not looking at one of the top selling games of all time in Destiny, I will be surprised. I 100 uh, percent agree. 100 yeah. percent agree. It's it's across both the platforms that matter sales wise. The Wii U is a good console, but in, in the sales market, it's really not going to contribute yeah. a lot. And and it, and if they get what they want, it's going to last five six years. Follow, you know, and they can, they can add expansions. Which That's a previous yeah. gen as well, isn't it? Yeah, and, and and you've got the, the the monsters of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 install base ready to go. Yep. Yeah, but like I say it is this next version of a, kind of an MMO sort of um, game. Um, yeah. So they can there there is a lot they can add to it mm. yeah. and expand on. Um, just, yeah, just before we just before we move on to the next game, I think it's interesting how. Bungie have gone so far now, Sony into Sony's ballpark. Yeah. Like, literally, they're just giving Sony yeah. this Destiny stuff. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, we've got more content with Destiny on PlayStation. Uh, the the beta, I think, comes first at PlayStation. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I don't excited. think I don't th I think a lot of people see that as Bungie really sticking two fingers up to Microsoft. I don't see it that so much. I just think a lot of money has changed hands. Yeah, probably, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it's all more Bungie. It's I imagine Sony so jumped it's, on Bungie yeah. as soon as they were done with Halo. Yeah, yeah. So next next game we want here. Yeah. Um, I imagine that's pretty much what I happened. Don't play it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm okay with it. If, if, if it means we get a slightly better experience, mm -hmm. I'm all for that. Mm -hmm. If it means more people get money. to play it. Yeah, yeah oh, that's true. If, if it remains yeah. Xbox, then just the fact that it's on both consoles is just as good, good as anything. Yeah. So. Lots of people are going to get to play this, and he says it's on 360 PS3 as well, yeah. uh, which I think is obviously what they were going for. It's their best move. So the next game, that, pretty much the next game that showed, is a pretty massive game, Sony exclusive being developed by Ready at Dawn, is The Order 1886. Uh, now I'm extremely hyped for this game, and I've got my concerns as well. As I think most people do, but what do you guys kind of This is say? another one that didn't quite get me going. I it, yeah, I have to agree with you there as well. I didn't really it was that <laughs> not a rendered No, no that's that was gameplay. Game 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 oh yeah, there was a cut okay, they're yeah. They're going yeah. they're going for what they call a filmic experience. So basically like you transition seamlessly from cutscenes into gameplay because it all looks like the same. Interesting that you say it all looks the same because that was the overriding theme I took from it. I, di I didn't see anything in that that I mean, okay, I did right, okay, I didn't see anything in the order 1886 that makes me think it's going to be a different gameplay experience to say The Last of Us when you're up against the these things that if you wait, wait, make one wrong move they'll kill you stuff like that. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, but. It, as, as someone who's sort of lingering in the middle between what console he's going to get, Xbox One, PS4, I do not factor the I, order. I agree with you. One. Yeah, I agree with you from the gameplay standpoint. That so far, it looks kind of. I don't want to say one of the mill. I think that's doing a bit of a disservice, but really, it looks like, in my opinion, not so much the last one. So it really reminds me of Gears. Yeah. Gears of War. I get a huge vibe in both the atmosphere and the way it kind of seems to play. Um, but I kind of think the main drive of the order is its setting. It's tone, it's theme, you know, it's like a steampunk alternate history Victorian yeah, yeah. London, which is just an awesome mishmash it's, of ideas. Yeah, it's definitely a great idea. It's just, I mean, that, that trailer, it didn't grip me at all. There was something about it, it seems, it was being chased by a werewolf, but going into cinem cinematics, Do coming out doing, shooting it a couple of times, going back in cinematic, it doesn't look fun to play. Do you remember in Microsoft conference the way they introduced Sunshine Overdrive? Yeah, that was cool. They had this kind of very sort of by the numbers futuristic shooter setting, and then boom, it yes. burst down with yeah. Sunset. The contrast between that and the order trailer was when the order trailer started. I thought, in another very dark setting, yeah. you know, very much. and yeah. unlike Sunset Overdrive, it didn't but flare that, out on the ground. Interesting. I think the thing with the order trader, and I could be completely wrong, but I suspect that was very early in the story. I suspect that was well, it possibly appeared to me that was just first time he was meeting the werewolf yeah. things. So that, that's going to be very early, possibly. so I suspect the beginning might be slightly more, here you go, and then it'll kind of, you'll have that bit, and then it'll ramp itself back up. Because other things we've seen, and the trailer they, they showed, the gameplay bit they showed a lot otherwise, showed a bit more kind of action shooting, it was a bit more. It was possibly not the right thing they should have shown at E3. They probably should have shown a bit like the another mission. Yeah, they should have, they should have shown something that's a little bit more fruitful in a way. 
Yeah, maybe. Well, they've got gameplay on their stand though this week, so sure, they might get a lot. Exactly. Yeah, I kind of feel the order. Hopefully, we're not seeing that same mission. Yeah, exactly. I feel the order has a lot to prove. Like, I don't think any of us need convincing of its graphics now. Oh, no, it looks not, fantastic. Not but you know, you but can't sell. We, you can sell the game on graphics, but you know, that's uh, not what makes it. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but that's not what makes it. Yeah. No, and, I, and to be fair to it, I, I do think that if if this wasn't E3, if I if someone had linked me that that trailer that they showed, I'd be like, oh, this is exciting. Yeah. But because it's E3, there's so much else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, for me, the order flirted into the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think best bit going for it potentially. Now they've had they've had their delay. Probably a good thing. Yeah, I think all the delays that have been recent, they're probably all good things. The release date that we've got, February of next year, that kind of, it's in the Titanfall kind of bracket of it this year. It sets it up to be the only big thing. Exa exactly, yeah. Yeah, that time. Yeah. They could, yeah. As, as you were saying about the marketing yeah. machine, they can really ramp that one up coming to yeah. it, and there's nothing to get in this way. Yeah. It's just going to go and go and go. Yeah. So kind of the next thing they revealed is a little bit of DLC for Infamous Second Son. I mean, I picked up Second Son, absolutely loved it. Yeah, so My, so, my uh, biggest... One was it was too short, so this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it, and you don't have to have second son to play it. I, no, I well, else. I and say I, we we played it at the same time. We both completed it at the same time. Did a couple, went through it twice. Um, I traded it in because I, you know, finished it, completed it 100. Thought I'm not going to wait for DLC. Luckily, my mistake has paid off now that it's standalone. I'm really looking forward to it. Fetch, my yeah. favourite character in the in the thing. Neon is just fantastic, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, a pre-story to fetch as well. So um, I'm I'm quite quite excited for it. Hopefully, yeah. the price should be. Uh, mm, that's going to be quite. The price is an interesting um, uh, point. Back. <laughs> so I think most. Just to say, we have we have a cat, cat under, here. under the table. Uh, I would show him to you guys. He can be our mascot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have, um, the... It's like Simba. Sorry, he's, 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 he's shy of the camera. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think the thing with Infamous is they said yeah, it's standalone, but there's going to be some some kind of bonus content if you've already got the game. Now, is that really going to be? I this, can't imagine it's going to be a whole exactly. Lot. Uh, you'll think about like, like, you can trade it in and then still get the DLC and still enjoy it. Like, but yeah. what's this? What's this bonus stuff going to be? Is it going to be like an hour's gameplay? It, 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 it may be something like you can go around the uh, and play as fetch as a sort of skin or something like that. That might be frankly, if that's that. all it is, I'm not too fast. Yeah, it, uh, we'll see. We don't, we'll the, only, we don't know. the only point I have to make about this is that I don't own a PS4, I've never played it from a second son. Yeah. I'm the least qualified person <laughs> in the world <laughs> to, to pass opinion about this new it's DLC. Game, but I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my verdict. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a game that maybe took our attention a little bit more than that came up next, which is Far Cry 4. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I've never played Far Cry before in my life. Really? Neither yeah. I, no. And I that's just impressive. Good. That's like when someone says, "I've never watched a James Bond film." Yeah. It's not. I don't think so. I'm not disappointed. It's, 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 it's just impressive. It's like, wow, you've got, you've come this far. It's one of those. It's one of those. Far Cry Three. Far Cry Three was huge. Yeah, I know it was huge. I know. I never could tell. For us, it's one of those franchises that that was out while we were all on the Xbox 360 hype. We were all playing stuff like Gears and Halo, Halo and stuff like that, and we weren't on the PS3 bandwagon. Um, well, so, well, it came out. We, 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 it came out yeah. both. Did it come out both? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got Far Cry Three. It was a good game, uh, and it was an yeah. excellent game. And Far Cry Four looks even better. I, I love Far Cry I love what they've done with the with the bad guy. He's yeah. a nasty yeah. piece of work. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be introduced to, to the franchise, this appears to be a good game for. Us. Also, yeah. that gameplay trailer yeah. where they showed the the scenery, oh, yeah, not since <laughs> Skyrim. Have I had that sense of yeah. wow? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. this is yeah. a game. Yeah. Really big impressive. bigger point than all of this though. Yeah. Coming yeah. only to PlayStation. If 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 you own Far Cry Four, one of your friends can can play it without owning the game. They can play co-op with you without owning it. That's yeah. just that's very cool. That's that's, nice that's, that's great. I mean, sorry to bang on the drum that I always bang on, but Nintendo have been doing that downloadable play for they years. Have, yeah, they have. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's great when they do it, and it's great Sony do it. I'm not trying to begrudge Sony doing it at all, but please, don't, don't credit them as masters of innovation for doing this. Yeah, no, I, I get that, yeah. 
I mean, it's it's, 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 it's the awesome way that we get. Yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's one of those things we don't get in these AAA games for these two. Um, it is very interesting as well that it won't, you won't get that on the Xbox One version. Yeah. Mm. I'd love to know why. I I might not know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can speculate. So, I mean, the next game kind of came out of the left field. At least I think it did. Uh, Little Big Planet 3 was very nice to see. Sean. I thought that Little Big Planet 3 had been confirmed for E3. <laughs> I had no idea that it had come out of left field. That's not to say I didn't like the look of it. I thought it looked really, really fun. Uh, Odd Sock the Dock. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I thought it looked it looked absolutely great, as all little big planets do. Yeah. Um, and I love the um, sharing and interaction. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought it was kind of cool that the um, I'm making sure you can keep all your equations from the previous games. Yeah. Cool. And you can still access them and you and and play them as well. So they, they've got a huge library they're already set up mm -hmm. for this new game. And it's just going to get bigger. It's yeah. not being hurt by media market. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, that's not a serious problem. I mean, like they've already innovated. Obviously, they've, they've added extra characters. That can only add to the game. Yeah. They, yeah. they look pretty cool. They've added that extra depth, which yeah. I think will make a massive difference yeah. to some levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adding characters. I mean, I think the characters they've added look great, and they do add depth to gameplay. But that's not always a good thing, is no, it? No, no. I mean, I mean look at that. Sonic. I mean, Christ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's very yeah, true. true. <laughs> there are moments, but However, I think this is going to allow, you know, some kind of multiplayer aspect. Yeah, that we I kind of thought that's the before. only reason they're there yeah. is to, you know, a bit like Creed Unity. That's the only reason those other three assassins are there is to allow yeah. kind of extended cult. But, but that's okay. That's yeah. so yeah. they're, they're allowed. Yeah, that's very okay. <laughs> that's very okay. Uh, then we got more on Battlefield, which yeah, I'm I'm so unhyped. Yeah. yeah, and disappointed. I'm it's, not disappointed because yeah. I was never hyped. It's the same game. It's the same game with a new skin. It's Battlefield 4 DLC. Well, so it could skin. be Battlefield just, 4 DLC yeah, based on what they showed us. I honestly thought it was because the the logo when it when I first yeah. saw it, it was leaked uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. before. And the logo does it not have the same guy as in the Battlefield 3 box like in the logo? So that made me think. At first oh, I this thought, is at to be fair, thought, this is more the, missions or something. The entire game was like a copy and paste. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we did talk about this a bit on uh, earlier, but I feel I feel like the the game itself is nonsensical. Why even bother calling it cops and criminals? They're not yeah. criminals. they're not criminals. It, they're it's terrorists. It's terrorists <laughs> and SAS. Yeah, yes. they bring down yeah. a building and a crane. And they're, not, mean, they're also not very good bank robbers. I mean, how long does it take them? <laughs> Yeah, I think it, the loot they were going for was only two grand as well. Yeah, if you if you had <laughs> the, level the city, if, if, you, if, you, if you had the access to the kind of weaponry that these people, <laughs> yeah, yeah. would you really rob a bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You well, create your own reserve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I was, but, I was, I, I mean, you were, you were hyped for Marvel. Like. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Battlefield franchise. I mean, Battlefield Three is where it's pied. Four, pied, pied. Four had some problems. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it also brought some good yeah. stuff, so, you know... I mean, obviously Hardline not being developed by DICE. It's Visceral. visceral. Yeah. Which I think is a bit odd decision, because Visceral are known for their single-player qualities, but not their multiplayer. Now, Battlefield, going up against Call of Duty, has got to have a good multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I think this the next round of Battlefield will be Call of Duty. Call of Duty is going to walk, walk away with that. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, which I don't even think is a shame, because I think they look like they've put no. in a lot of work in this yeah. duty. Yeah, definitely. They, they well, we, we, we touched new. on this in the last one, didn't we? Yeah. 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 My opinion has not changed. No, no, no. If, if anything, I think it's been reinforced yeah. 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 by what, what Sony have come out with in Battlefield. Obviously, you know, me and the Sony press conference, they, they've really got Battlefield, though, haven't they? Like, it's under their wing. Just, yeah. as like, just as like Call of Duty's under uh, Xboxes. Is that, am I right in saying or am I misremembering that there's. Uh, version exclusive content. There's, bo there's bonus yeah. content for Battlefield yeah. for PlayStation. Right? And but what about COD for Xbox? They yeah. get they yeah. no they just get the DLC first. Early, right. Yeah. Are they not really exclusive content. No, no. I think Jab is right. Uh, okay. just, whereas Battlefield Hardline that should just get exclusive content. I think. Yeah. And we get the beta obviously. Yeah, we do. But I think when well, you get when you get into that aspect, I mean, no, it, you, no you, one's going to say, okay, I'll change my mind and buy a PS4 because I I want. Battlefield. No, of course. Yeah, extra content. I, I, I can wait an extra couple of months for um, for Call of Duty DLC, as as we did for Battlefield 4 DLC. Actually, Xbox had that first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Xbox is all uh, they, their their uh, partnership with the Call of Duty franchise is quite long running, actually. Yeah. Uh, and then 
Dead Island 2. I didn't even realise this was Dead Island. No, no, so no, not until it. I saw the logo. And then, and then I was a little bit disappointed because I was like, I'm probably not going to pick this up. I thought it was funny. Yeah, it was. So yeah. I'm not going to go and buy the game yet. I need to see something else. Because I was a little bit disappointed by the first Dead Island. I don't know if I'm in the Rip time. Uh, yeah. Rip time is a I, I just kind of feel like zombies are like, their time is passing. It was, yeah, yeah it was when he said. I mean, the whole the hear us of letters thing was yeah, so yeah, lame yeah, and yeah. what forced. I wonder if they were even real. Oh, well, definitely not. As the, and I think they made a sort of joke about yeah, that. With the Tim Shaver yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but, yeah, it was. I just thought, is anyone really writing to Sony to say I would like to see more zombies? Really, more zombies! Yeah, more yeah. zombies in the gaming industry. Yeah. We've had there so was a distinct lack of zombies this year as well, or it was just Dead Island and Dead Rising, wasn't well, it? Were there really? Yeah, Microsoft. Dead Rising. So, yeah, oh, yeah, Dead Rising. That's, yeah. that's all we need. We don't need any more. No, 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 we need Left 4 Dead. No, we need Left 4 Dead. Okay, yeah. That needs to be a thing. That'd be nice, but of course we've got Evolve. Just trying to throw it in there because we missed out last time. Yeah, that was. I'd be concerned. Yeah, that was. Evolve does, of course. But I mean, yeah, Dead, Dead Island interest is not that high for me, I don't think. No, no. Um, moving on to the kind of the indie scene, which is, you know, Sony's oh, bag. Sony. Microsoft are trying to break in, but it's like, you know, Sony's kind of got the ballpark. And my game of at least Sony's show, No Man's Sky. I join you in that view. Yeah. Uh, it blew it's my so mind. Where, Amazing. The, the, the bit when he, the, the trailer started and he was walking around this place, I sort of thought, this looks very cool. Mm. But then he got in the spaceship and just went to another planet. No loading screens. Yeah. Nothing. I just thought, what? I mean, this been, is an yeah. indie game. I've yeah. been hyped for this since last year because they showed it off. Oh, sorry, hipster. And, they, <laughs> yeah, and, they, and they, they, they didn't actually do the whole planet hopping thing. They were like, you can do this, but we haven't shown it. And then now they've shown it and it's just... It's, do you know what, this is just the power of the next gen consoles, they can get up this all pre-rendered and then just bang straight away. They don't have to sit there going, oh, what's it going to look like when I finally get through loads? Yeah, you, so you, yeah. Said, you said um, it, it was one of the most impressive things about uh, this game, which na whose name I keep forgetting, No Man's Sky. Yeah. No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Um, is that every player starts off on a different machine. That's awesome. Yeah. In theory, there's like 8 million yeah. different planets already. It's because it's all like like basically generated. They basically yeah. said it's infinite. You can just it's Minecraft going, on steroids. Just, yeah. Yeah. And they were like, you know, we don't even know what's out there because, you know, yeah. it basically yeah. makes itself. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so cool. amazing. And it's the an art style. Title. Just yeah. the art style is yeah. amazing. Just that I mean, so much color. Yeah. Do you reckon they've had a little bit of help? From Sony, because I can't imagine. No, I bet they haven't. An indie Probably studio. Probably not. I don't know. It's, it's, it's quite hard point. to call. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what is interesting. Though. No Man's Sky, they they uh, they got flooded because they they they're from they're from here, England, and they got oh. flooded during the during the really bad storms. Yeah, they yeah. pretty much destroyed all their stuff. Oh blood! But, I mean, luckily they were able to save a lot of it, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty rough for an indie studio. Yeah. yeah. I, Sony might have helped them out with that. But oh, this yeah. well, is going to... And also, Sony helped them out by giving them the stage floor for that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but the, also, the, that, that, so impressive. that is a game that is going to really pay off for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. There's, there's I'm a few, not, is, I'm few not, is it an I don't think it's an exclusive, is it? Uh, they didn't say it was an exclusive. They didn't say it wasn't. No. So, so, so probably not. Yeah, probably, probably not, not but... This, you know, we might this is not the official word of Abra game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, it, if, if it wasn't an exclusive, then it's a very good thing for that company. That, having, uh, said that, that having said that, you'd imagine, obviously, Microsoft did their big thing. Look at our indie titles. You'd have thought they'd want to slip in a game that good. Well, they're clearly favouring Sony. For yeah. 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 So you may have paid them more, obviously. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's, that was my at least Sony game of the show. Possibly even veering to game of the show. I was just so impressed. There were a few, so impressed. A few other really yeah, good indie I titles. Yeah, I agree. Oh no, I don't know about indie titles. I, I, think, know, I think No Man's, no Man's, Man's, Man's Sky. Yeah, no, it yeah. was the best. But then you know, there's a few Bloodborne. That's not an indie title. It's been done by indie developer, isn't it? I don't think so. I thought it was. Isn't that done by the people who did Demon Souls, and Dark Souls? Yeah. No, I thought it was different. <laughs> Yeah, Carry look on. it up. We'll, yeah. we'll, 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 well, we got. What else did we get? Abs 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 the, uh, by that game company who yeah. did Journey. Now that's. I mean, you, you guaranteed you a certain Journey. level of quality. Journey was fantastic and literally one of the best games of the last generation. Yeah. Um, I didn't necessarily get the same feeling from Abzu because it was just like. It was a bit I don't know, underwater. Trailer of Dark Souls. Really sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so your best knowledge there, yeah. Mr. Host. Um. Yeah, because I believe Bloodborne was under the title of Project Beast. Anyway, yeah, absolutely. I didn't necessarily get the same whoa like I did from Journey. Mm -hmm. 
No. Because I kind of feel like Journey was just so... It's... Abzu is the difficult second album. Yeah. 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 Everyone's a bit like, we've kind of had this before and... Yeah. It, it, might, be, it, didn't look, it didn't look bad. No, yeah. of course it, it didn't. Might actually, actually, it might actually have something surprising that we just haven't seen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we didn't see a lot, did we? Yeah. It was, it was a couple of whales, a couple of fish. I'm not, I'm not really sure really the bit. way you play the game is, the is helping, because Journey was very much, you were behind the Journey of yeah. Bank, and so you would go in and you would see everything appearing in front of you. Whereas this one's a bit side-scrolly, and I'm not sure it really lends itself to that. I mean, it does, obviously, but just, like, if you've played Journey, the way you go through traversing the world is the way it all comes towards you. This, that's all the awe-inspiring thing about it. Well, and I just don't know if Abzu's style... I mean, we've not seen it a lot, obviously. I think you, maybe they're not going for the same thing. And Possibly not. Or not. credit they, to it. They Possibly did not. say there's a different... It's actually a different studio. So it's the guy who did Journey has gone in and merged with this giant, oh, yeah, giant, squid. giant squid. Now, now yeah, giant squid. Yeah, so right. it's probably... It's Journey-esque, but not actually a sequel to Journey. That's or right. A yeah. Okay. Spiritual Journey sequel. Yeah, 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 yeah. spiritual, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've got some other good news though from uh, from other games. Obviously, we got we got a bit a bit from Insomniac, tiny bit about Ratchet and Clank. Got a mm. remastered, remastered version of the original game. Oh, we, PS4. What's, what's we going had, on with? We had a HD the HD remastered one for PS3, wasn't it? Yeah, we did. That um, was one, two, and three. One, two, and three, which you know is great. Bringing back a fantastic old game. Um, doing it again for PS4. I know they're meant to be adding stuff. And maybe they'll add some sort of multiplayer thing, um, maybe co-op or something like that. I, we don't know. They Do, don't this much, whole but... Ratchet and Clank movie yes. thing. Mm. I mean, is this not the kind of thing that you'd do if you were doing a parody of Microsoft last year? Like, <laughs> like this. It it it, it seemed to be a plans. little bit. Why would you do that at the E3 show floor? I, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, you're sort of right. Yeah, well, they should have done like what yeah. they with slide, kept it, keep it separate. But you know, you can do it if you want. Yeah. but mm -hmm. don't put it at E3. It yeah. just seemed like it wasn't really. I, I mean, the fit. film looks like it's going to be probably pretty good. Yeah, like, they, that's the perfect yeah. animation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it looks exactly yeah. like the game, and that that's all how we need to do that. Yeah. yeah, but I agree with you. It seems also, a bit out, since like, we seem to be moving on to this bit of discussion anyway, powers as well. Seems right. very, they never have very that strange that. that they would sort of go oh, because they hit that quite hard. They were mm. really, they brought out the new guy. Yeah, they, they were that hyping, stick for about ten yeah, minutes. They were hyping that up quite a lot, but there was nothing to show us. There was the I concept agree, yeah. art. Again, yeah, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying don't, don't make this don't, massive don't deal of it. E3. I the thing, uh, but the, that's the thing. The thing that really bugged me about that was that they were hyping it up, which is fine, you know. They're, they're fully within their white type art. Then they're saying um, members of PlayStation Plus get it, will get the series for free. Mm. Only in America and Canada. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's North, North America. America. North, North, initially North, North America. America. Just I North imagine America. We'll get I'd it. imagine we'll get yeah. it too. My problem with it is. We might do, we might not. My problem with it is, they can, like you say, oh, they can do it. I'd rather they just bloody didn't. Oh, yeah, no, I'd rather they didn't. No, like, it's, it's not <laughs> like. I, I know what. I can, I can see why they're doing a Halo TV series, because it's such a big thing anyway. They're hyping up this big. I just, I just I do not. I personally would have been happier with a conference that was 10 minutes shorter and didn't have Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, agreed. Or they could, have, you know, they could have thrown the Drive Club trailer in. Instead yeah. of not having that. Yeah, but more, but more yeah, order to satisfy more, your, yeah. this is a bit dull. Yeah, yeah it was, I think well, it was, I think it was, it's a bit dull, <laughs> not, too, not too much more. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was completely unnecessary, actually. Um, that whole section was really. That, yeah, yeah, it was poor. Yeah. They, they talked a bit about PlayStation Now. That's it's fine, that's, we were waiting to hear something about it. I kind of don't, I don't really feel like uh, PlayStation Now is going to turn into a thing. Again, no, last, again, last year I was quite, I was quite excited. for just US yeah. and was, Canada. Yeah, I was quite excited last year, but we're kind of in the same position 12 months yeah, on. Yeah, it's not really got anyone's blood pumping. No, and like, really. if, if they're remastering, they've remastered some, some pretty big games mm -hmm. for, for PS4, so they're taking away the kind of thing I'd want to play on it anyway. Yeah. Um, it's so it's the it's last one, talk, basically. Yeah, yeah, talking about remastering The Last of Us, the, when that was sort of announced, I don't know if it was announced or leaked. I think it was leaked a little while. It was leaked, 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 leaked straight away. But the, the whole thing struck me as why? This game came out towards the end of last gen. Everyone said it was one of the best looking games ever made. And they're remastering it to bring it up to PS4 Visual. What? I mean, 
what you think out of it. Yeah, it, 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 well, it struck I, I, me. I am the perfect target audience. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. If, yeah, if, you, if you've stuff. made the switch from Xbox 360 to PS4 and you never played Last of Us, yeah. then fine. But don't bloody remake Master, Last of Us with better visuals. Just let them play the PS3 one on backwards compatibility. Yeah, well, yeah, there is that. Yeah, that. yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah, that would have been nicer, but no, this is this is what I mean. The, the whole remastering Last of Us it strikes me as a little bit cynical. Almost little... certainly it'll be full price as well. Yeah, oh, oh absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, because they're throwing in the DLC, so it's going to be full price. That would yeah. be their way of being like, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Because yeah. they, they probably, I don't necessarily think they'll add the DLC cost on. No, it'll just be 40 quid. Yeah. Um, Last of Us and Remastered needs to look at the Master Chief pack if it wants to see <laughs> an example yeah. of what, actually what, good what deal. The Last of Us 2, 3 and 4 actually <laughs> want to be in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I'm excited for Last of Us because I've never played it. So yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll I'm really very happy for you. end up picking it up. So I haven't played it either. Um, I, I, I think really should do it at some point. I mean, Qu quickly back on the TV thing though. Yeah. PlayStation TV, what? Why? Yeah. Point. Maybe I'm not interested I guess in maybe it's a cheap access to maybe you're on Xbox One, maybe you've got Xbox One, maybe you've got Nintendo, but you don't have enough money to actually buy a PlayStation Four. Maybe it's a cheap way of getting into a place PlayStation gaming. But apart from that, I have to admit, <laughs> I have to admit, when they got to this part of the conference, I was just kind of like. Asleep? Oh, no, she's so good. Yeah, yeah. So you would you start so well. Don't care. Play, yeah. That is a way for daddy owns a PlayStation TV, son really wants to get daddy to get a PlayStation or daughter. Yeah. Uh, they can have a little bit of fun on the. On the, on the yeah, dad, dad doesn't want to spend 350 yeah. quid, he's going to yeah. spend his $99. Yeah. That would yeah. be, be what yeah, that's it's, for. It's, yeah. And that would also be a gateway into buying an actual PS4 as well. Yeah. Yeah. When daddy it, gets impressed it, it, with it, what it, it can yeah, actually yeah, yeah, It's a gateway yeah. product. So at this point in the conference, I was kind of thinking, oh, this is, this is kind of deviating, I'm, yeah. I'm not too happy. Well, I mean, I, I was impressed, and then I wasn't, and now I'm a bit worried. But then they kind of got released with the big guns, the floodgates as you were, which had game after game. And they were big hitters as well. The first one being Mortal Kombat X. Mm. Yeah. I won't buy it. No, <laughs> no, 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 I think, I, cool. I think all four of us sitting across the table aren't massive, fair to say we're not massive fighter games. I'm not, game and you know Unless it's Super Smash Bros. Okay, coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a Daily Mail writer, <laughs> but, 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 and, and you know, this is me sitting on my Nintendo Happy Fuzzy High Horse, but... <laughs> the, bit, the bit where it shows everyone's skull being cracked and the that's not fun. It's very more that's combat. Not that's not more combat. That's always an 18. Yeah. But his chest blows over. And that's cold. Oh, yeah, but I was 21. I'm going to enjoy that. I don't know. It just struck me as a bit... I'm not trying to get on this whole violence in video games is terrible sort of thing. I just think that particular example of violence is so yeah, unnecessary. It's like beyond talent. I kind of you know. disagree with you though because I almost feel like it's done a bit comically. Like it's not. There serious. was a little. You bit ripped, of you ripped this guy's spine there. out and then you just destroyed it. That's like you're not you actually going to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And like his, you know, his chest opens and then the, the heart just kind of goes boing. <laughs> okay, yeah, right, all right. Okay. A little bit comically then, they but just comically kind of, they just would be it, like though. Sunshine Overdrive when he kicks yeah, the guy okay, in the face. Like, ouch, and that's kind, yeah, of, yeah, that's yeah. kind of funny. I love that, actually. But really cool. violence. What I will give Mortal Kombat, it did look good, though. The graphics, yeah. it was really, mm. for a fighting game, it's really got yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I did, I was sitting there thinking, ooh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it, it sparked an interest, and that's sometimes all it has to do, especially if you're not into that sort of game. Especially sometimes since you bought the Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, we don't have to mention that. <laughs> Can we stop what, bringing that up? The world up? needs to know that you buy silly things. <laughs> yeah, well, like. I, I, I you actually bought that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> And then obviously we had the last one we spoke about. Yeah. And then we had a uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 trailer, The Phantom Pain. I thought we were going to end at this point. Yeah, I, I thought this was it. Because Andy House was like, and here's Metal Gear Solid 5. And I was like, ah, oh, no, where's Uncharted? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really... I, uh, Metal Gear Solid doesn't do a whole lot for me. There was but, a, I mean, it does a lot for people. On, on Reddit, there was uh, one of the millions of things buzzing around before the conference was this E3 bingo card. And one of the things on the E3 bingo card was... Metal Gear, new Metal Gear Solid Five trailer confuses everyone. Yeah, and I, and I ticked that yeah. at the end of the yeah. trailer. I didn't, but then I didn't. I, I haven't really played the first four. Yeah, I'm sure too. they're brilliant, but 
a, if I want to watch a half hour cutscene, I'll boot I do, up Netflix. Like, Metal Gear yeah. Solid is very story driven, isn't it? Yeah, so, like, for, for people like us who've never really yeah. played it, you just kind of yeah. sit there going, You're not going to be This is pretty. I, I mean, have no idea what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, uh, the fifth member of Ape Gaming, Tom, he, we know he, he loves it and he's very excited about it. It's one of the three enough. games he ever played. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you can you just say nod when it's sitting here? He's, he's <laughs> just over there, Tom. Yeah, can you just is. nod? Did you play Metal Gear Solid 4? Yes. You just said nod, yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. you know, he's, he's, very, he's very excited about it. Um, uh, so, just, just, just sorry, just sorry, one more question. Is nod or talking if you want. Is it because of the story that you want, that you're excited for the fight? Yeah. Is right. it not because quiet was? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's, I think that's all we need to say on that. There you have it, the Metal Gear <laughs> fan base, marginalised <laughs> and unseen. <laughs> it was alright, but it was, that's not gameplay, that's not, we're not going to see anything like that in the game. That was just it was of, a bit, it was a montage of yeah. just stuff, yeah. there was no yeah. direction to it. Which, Some credits thrown in. Yeah, yeah, lots of credits, they, they, want, to, they want us to know that they made their game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, what came next was kind of a surprise to me, but like, kind of, you saw it coming, that's GTA 5 coming to next gen of PC. Yeah. And I just, I mean, it was cool that Sony got that reveal. That was cool. I was so adamant that it was going to happen. Really? Well, they like, said it wasn't going to yeah, happen exactly. originally. We just we're, thought, no, it's it's so many happen. people were waiting we're gonna, it, which is so obvious. We're going to talk about the whole Xbox 360 to PS4 thing, right? Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, there's no PS3 to Xbox One. No, yeah, yeah. Now, that is That's big. nice. That yeah. is big. I was, saying, I was saying before we started recording this thing, I think that is Sony saying, this is not the next generation of PlayStation, this is the next generation of gaming. It doesn't matter what yeah. you did before, you can come over to PS4 and have it's a so great time. Yeah. It's so I'd love to see the size of the check handed over for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Piece of, yeah. It's, it's like it's like Andrew House is like, we don't mind if you had an Xbox. Yeah. You can forget that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having <laughs> said we'll that, forgive you. It's, 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 a, your it's, it's another one of these things which we're sitting here now saying, this is great, isn't it? There's another one of those things which would be much less impressive if they included backwards <laughs> compatibility yeah, in the new yeah. consoles. Yeah. 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 The, the thing is, um, I don't I don't think it's going to do that well because yeah, a few people are waiting. But a lot of people, because it came out before the next gen consoles came out, were just going, I'll just buy it and it'll be the last game I buy on my PS3 or my I think GTA is, is one of these <laughs> franchises that the vast majority of buyers are buyers because they're on the hype train. And the hype train for GTA 5 has slowed down. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, 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 it's kind of stopped really. Would you buy yeah. it again? I, I'm I, would only, I, 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 I would only buy it. I played it, loved it, finished it, and I won't buy it again. No. I, 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 tell, I think I know what. Full price. I, think I, would, I would not buy it full price. No way I would buy it full price. I might buy it if it was down to twenty quid. I think yeah, you maybe be, you'll I'll be lucky. Up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if I find it pre-owned or something like that, I might go pick it up. But apart from that, no. I think one of the reasons they might be doing it is so they can justify when GTA Six comes along. Go look, next gen guys. You've already you've you've had a chance to yeah. play five. We've now got an excuse to completely move everything off yeah. because you can yeah. you can have play five. Right. We can forget it now. Yeah. Move. And then. We've got Batman Arkham Knight, yeah, which was the world premiere of actual gameplay, like proper gameplay. And I was very impressed until he got in his Batmobile, and then I was like, that tank. Uh, yeah, well, uh, why? Are, well, yeah, basically, my, my kind of my issue was when he's in the tank. Why are the enemies suddenly in tanks? It's just like, why weren't they in tanks when you weren't in the tank? <laughs> <laughs> well, they can blow you to pieces. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I thought it was hugely impressive. The graphics are absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah, rain, yeah. Flying, around, yeah. Rain, yeah. flying around Gotham, that's going to be cool. It looks a lot yeah. It's going to be a lot like, did you guys ever play, and I know we've just taken the piss out of Matt, but <laughs> Spider-Man 2. Yes! I'm gonna, yeah, it's it's going to be no, like no, no, that. No, 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 no. Are we saying Spider-Man 2 the re from the remakes or the old one? Or the oh, well, Spider-Man yeah, yeah, so Spider 2, not the amazing oh, Spider-Man yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man 2 that was like a game you could start. Yeah, that where you could just... No one really played the game. Where you just fly through the city. There's going to be that, I think... Arkham Knight reminded me a lot of that. Yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I, I kind of thought as it's like, they've taken GTA's free roaming and allowed me to fly. Yeah. That's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they put Batman in bad guys in it. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm going to have good fist fights. Was it, it was the Scarecrow. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah. That awesome. was awesome. Yeah. That the was Scarecrow really is really cool. cool. And, I, I, and I know everyone absolutely loves the Joker. I love the Joker, but I think 
rock steady and I've done the scarecrow up. best yeah. out of all the bad guys. Also, you've got, you've got you've got to be careful of going too hard on the Joker because I don't want to get sick of him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that's true because he, he's so iconic. Yeah. You don't spoilers yeah. if you haven't played it. You should have done. He dies in Arkham City. Oh, if he comes I'm back, I was just about to say. <laughs> if he comes back, what? Yeah. So no, stick with scarecrow because the scarecrow is awesome and it should be great. And more, more, more importantly, again, PlayStation Nation, exclusive content. Yeah. Sony have, have done a deal with uh, with developers, and there's exclusive. I think they called them Scarecrow Nightmare missions. Yeah. More Scarecrow. Like yeah. More sca yeah. The redesign looks really cool. So yeah, it's really, awesome. really excited yeah. for this title. Mm. Good. Another good delayed title, actually. Yeah. I mean, from, yeah. from a standpoint, for me, I've never played any of the Batman games. I should have. I'm like, meaning yes. to get around to it. Haven't. They're like two. I really should have bought them instead yeah. of Spider Man, but yeah. you know. <laughs> you get them. You can get I'm just them on Wii U now. for like eight pound each. Yeah, I know. I saw that. They're yeah, they're on that. The they're seventy five cent um, on Steam. They're like that as well. They're yeah, just I, 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 I saw that the other day. Um, I will buy them. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> My point was, I will be getting this game. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. It does look I, fantastic. Do you think? And they could do. They could. They could pull a. Could pull a, a Microsoft. And they could come out with some kind of box set. They don't have to remaster them, but they could just provide Ooh, me might, with. Yeah, there have been might. enough now. Yeah, they? possibly. I mean, it yeah. might only be, unfortunately, it might only be the kind of thing they can do on PC, though. That well, would it, it, interest it, it, me, because although I have played them, I, have I don't own them. So that would interest me. Yeah, mm. um, I think it'd be pretty good, you know, because then you could just do all the story and then just... Because if yeah. Batman 75th anniversary or something like that... That's why they're doing that's the sale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see something past along those lines. Yeah, we could. Yeah. That'd be, that's that'd not cool. that, wouldn't be, that wouldn't be unsurprising. I wouldn't have an issue with that because they're very good games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they're really well made. And I'm just Give me a reason so looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, we do. And that was pretty much the end of Sony's conference. The, of course there was another game. Andy House, and he was like, I've got one more game. I've got one more game. I bet, do you know what? The kind of the, the, the smug knowing <laughs> yeah. reveal is yeah. so good. You can just it, imagine all the people there were like he <laughs> yeah. was like uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. naughty dog. <laughs> yeah. I was doing that at home. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there like, get a lot. Um, but well, you don't need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they could have just flashed the Naughty Dog logo and said, "See you next year." Yeah, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it would be like. But I mean, yeah. Drake, um, he's having a bit of a cryptic message talk with Sully. Definitely sounds a bit ominous. One of them is going to kick the bucket, maybe even both of them. If we go completely tits up, wouldn't put it past them. Uh, yeah. No, um, but wouldn't put it past Sully. But obviously, the title is A Thief's End. So again, but maybe that's what they want you to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is the great thing about Naughty Dog. Yeah. With you. You can so predict how most AAA games are going to end, but here we are not having a clue what's yeah. going to happen, and I love it. And I, I, I haven't, again, I have played previous Uncharted games, I've never owned them, I never owned a PS3. If they did a box set on that, I would oh, yeah. Yeah. Like see an HD oh, rebound with Uncharted That would push me into oh, PS4. I've never played one or two, I got the third one for free on PlayStation Plus. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, was that was I've good off the best one. thing I've ever yeah. had on, on PlayStation Plus, by the way. But yeah, that was such a fantastic game. And I mean, that footage was anyway. running on the PS4, that wasn't oh, rendered. No, yeah, that that's fly. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks very cool. Yeah. He's obviously in a bit of trouble. And, you, and then you've got the ominous skeletons and everything. It looks kind of piratey, I think, because they've got bandanas on the eye patch and everything. I, I, I get the feeling now that Naughty Dog for Sony, and I think this could even be doing Naughty Dog a disservice, but I would liken them to Retro at Nintendo when they did the Prime series, because Retro seemed to be able to find this way of squeezing the most out of Nintendo's yeah, yeah, hardware. Yeah. And Naughty Dog do exactly the same with yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, they really, they really, just, they just bring, bring actually yeah. everything to yeah. the console, and we love them for it. Yeah. Yeah. And that it looks phenomenal. It does. It looks great. Right. Uh, and it was a predictable, possibly way to end this, uh, the show, but I think it's what everyone yeah. wanted. Yeah, it's what everyone yeah. wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I kind of feel you. Yeah. A lot of people bang on about how we want to see new IPs, we want to see new IPs. If they finish the conference on a new IP, I think yeah, it would have less of an effect. Yeah. You get that like familiarity when Nathan shows up and you hear his voice and everyone's just like, yeah, we it's, know, it's uh, PlayStation. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like we, we were sitting there the entire way going, right, they're going to start on whatever, but they're going to finish on Uncharted. And as yeah. it went on, it's like, they could finish it. Please perfect. finish on Uncharted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got to the point where like, I could start praying now, and then they just... I mean, they were really pushing the time there. Yeah, it was like two hours, hours, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so many games, and that's why I kept thinking they were just going to end after one of them. Metal, that's another yeah. reason we could have done without the 
Yeah, it was yeah, stuff. Yeah, with, yeah, PlayStation TV. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All, all the, the the pointlessly brief mention about PlayStation Vita, frankly, I think yeah. we're at the point now where they're just going to abandon that. Yeah. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh, cool. Yeah, Vita. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure I, I, they're I, abandon I, it. I think they're in too deep. I don't know. I mean, they don't. They clearly don't care much because you know, there's no games. games. No game for it. And um, do that's do, all do, it I do not know how many units that has sold. Not many. I no, know that the many. 3DS has sold 43 million. Yeah, I, I, the Vita is maybe. I, th I think it's on. No, no yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's about yeah. ten. It's not great. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. It's not, not great. great. Especially, yeah. when they, especially when the PSP just found out about eighty million. Yeah, yeah. That, that, actually, uh, that, I mean, I know it got walked over. over. It, it got walked over by the DS, but yeah, you're saying it's still got to eighty. The DSP was a great handheld console. DS got to about two hundred. Oh yeah, DS was a beast, but given how badly the PSP was doing, still eighty is not bad. The PSP was a very good console. I had a lot of good times on that console. Well, eighty million warrants a successor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The, yeah, it's, it's not doing not. great. It's I, not tell, I tell you what PlayStation need to do, right? This, this is this is a new Sony phone. It has PlayStation Mobile, right? that's the way it's going to go, I think. So I, mm, I think there will be. What, what if, I don't. Them, I don't think <laughs> they. I don't think they will say right. Forget Vita. <laughs> We're not going to do anything with that. I think what they'll do is they'll let Vita run its lifespan, and they won't release another handheld game console. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly yeah. It, Possibly. That that all that is is a loss for the industry, though. I yeah. think. I agree, yeah. yeah. I agree, but I think this is another reason why Microsoft have never even come close to venturing mm. into handheld game because Nintendo just dominates. Do yeah, this, this may be, yeah, well, I mean, I know this is slightly even further off topic, but if Wii U goes down the uh, pan, 3 and they well, 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 over not the handheld that, market. Not that we should be talking about this not now, really now not well, one, like but it's pretty <laughs> much, you know, rumours to the point of. It's basically fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that That's we, what we got. Yeah, we're speculating. Yeah, that Nintendo's but next yeah. console is going to be a home <coughs> console and a handheld yeah. console in one, which would make sense for them, yeah. I think. I, I, so. I, I think the problem with, with just PlayStation handheld attitudes, kind of PlayStation all over, they like to go for a big, powerful machine. Yeah. And I'm all for that because a big, yeah. powerful machine, look at the PS4, it's given us great stuff. The PS3 did, it just took a little bit longer to get it. Yeah. Um, and I think the PS3 ended up with the better line. Yeah, I think it did as well. I the, agree. Uh, like, uh, the thing with the handhelds is it's a bit too serious. Yeah. Like, if you look at the 3DS, yeah. all the games are they're fun, they're easy, they're, they're just yeah. good, it's a great console. Now, hang on a minute. No, I'm not I'm not having that. But some of the best games I've played this generation have been on 3DS. Fire Emblem is I'm saying it's great. video uh, for another time. I know, but for you, for, I, don't, I don't like this, oh, it's all fun and it's all easy generalisation. Yeah, we can do it's, another video. Okay. Video. No. For now, though, the I, I Sony conference say. is over. <laughs> <laughs> Sony's conference at E3 is done for another Can year. Can you tell we're very much looking forward to the Nintendo? Yes. <laughs> In fact, I'm counting the minutes. <laughs> How many minutes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we all like Sony's conference? Yeah, I oh, yeah. They do a really good job. Good yeah. conference. Uh, I give it a six and a half out of. No, that's, that's very harsh. No, that's yeah. a bit low, yeah. Six and a half to seven. Seven. No, I think it was a, an above I'd average about seven, seven conference. I, I think I'd give it purely just the number of games. I, I, they, I know they're not all they're not all first part, but I give it eight. If yeah, we I look, if, if we look well. back at it in a week's time, I think you will lower your possibly. Score. Because yeah, I, nothing, was, nothing was nothing yeah. was mind blowing. Yeah. I think both Sony and Microsoft played it pretty safe. Yeah, Microsoft yeah. Did more so. I think Microsoft. Had. What Microsoft did better is even though they played it safe, they played it more quantity. Safe, yeah. like there was so much that they showed us. Possibly, I don't know. I mean, I, no, I, I think, think showed I us just about. Yeah, I, th I think the thing with I think the ratio changes when you talk about exclusives. Yeah, yeah. Like Sony, I think Sony had the better third-party presence. Like that barrage at the end was just massive third-party titles, and they were scoring like first world premieres, and then they give you a chide. Yeah. Um, and Little Big Planet was nice. That's another exclusive they've got coming out this year. Mm. Yeah, that's, 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 that's very a, exciting. Yeah. That's that's yeah. probably the best surprise. It's like that was a really good got, surprise. It's November. We were we were sitting there going, "Oh, it's gonna be next year." Yeah. Yeah. November. Like, what? Um, yeah. we, we missed this out, but I want to give an honourable mention to Magicka Two. Uh, I love that game, and I was very excited to see it coming back um, for its uh, sequel. But that's just. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> the, the one sale like, in the world, Matt. You, you jumped. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a fantastic game. It's great co-op, but none of you want to play. It looks okay, but I just, I just, <laughs> my, 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 my lasting memory of that is the guy saying, 
I think I know how to spell, and that's not how you spell magic. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 they, yeah. they do need to get that, rid of that the is silly. That not that, not know. that any of us should lecture anyone on how to have a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that is yeah. the humor of the entire game. It's completely weird humor, Forced. but it's kind of like it's it works. It's not a Mario Kart well, yeah. <laughs> I liked that, but you again, was, but again, this is a bit sure. anyway. Anyway, great conference, Sony. We thought it was very good. What did you guys think of the conference? Let us know in the comments below and follow us on Twitter and tell us on Twitter. But until next time, guys, cheerio.